What's going on adventurers? Today we are at a cemetery that actually has graves from the 1700s and we were told about it by the owner of the Belmont Inn which is where we're currently staying. Such an amazing hotel guys. I know I, I just can't reiterate enough. You guys have got to definitely go check it out whenever you get the opportunity. I'm, I'm actually here with Patty from the G team. Hi. And Rebecca G. What's up? <laughs> So we're gonna all split up and we're gonna do our own investigations and see who wants to talk to us today We we all agree. We feel kind of a very calm vibe from this cemetery and I mean most of the time that is the case But you know once in a while you run into something that's a little bit more sinister, but today uh, I'm feeling good vibes. So we're gonna see what happens. Let's go guys So this is one of the things that I absolutely hate to see guys whenever I I'm investigating a cemetery. I just, I hate to see vandalism. It's so sad, it's so disrespectful. And it irritates me. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't understand why people would do that. I really don't get it. But we're gonna get right into the investigation. These headstones are so unique. And I mean, it's pretty cool because you don't see headstones like this anymore you just don't now some of these people were born in the 1700s but they didn't pass till in the 1800s um now patty was telling me that there was a section of people who were actually buried in the 1700s so this is a very old cemetery and i can't believe that they were actually able to do i, I don't let me just show you guys that this is very narrow there's not really any rhyme or reason to the layout, so it's really hard to know. Whoa. What the heck? Did you just see that? I don't know. That, that was weird. I was just talking about not like being careful to not step on anybody, but the layout's really weird. So, and then that happened. Okay, so um, what I was saying though, guys, is it's really interesting because I can't even believe that they had the technology back in the early 1800s to do a 3D monument. I mean, look at this. This is 3D. I don't know how they even did that. This is really wild. So we're gonna, I mean, look, there's really, I can't even believe there's enough room to bury one person here and another one here. Like it's just so close together. So that's what I'm saying. I don't even know. I mean, I know they call them headstones. I don't even know if that's actually where their head is at this point because these are so old. And I mean, look how these are like on top of each other. There's no way. I know people were shorter back then, but that's just ridiculous. So I don't know what's going on. This this one area of the tree is blowing like crazy and the rest of it's pretty still. So that was where Patty and I both noticed the commotion from the tree. Still not sure what happened. There's an open tomb right there. Look at that beautiful magnolia tree. There are quite a few of them here. It's pretty awesome.
Let's walk back this way, guys, to there's an area that's kind of enclosed a little bit. We're going to walk back there, and I think we'll go ahead and do a necrophonic session. Now, see, this is the this is the path where you don't have to worry about, you know, possibly accidentally stepping on somebody's grave. We're going to go back this way. I'm trying to be out of earshot of everybody, so there's no noise contamination or anything like that. So maybe we'll go down actually past this fenced off area because I don't want to interrupt anybody else's investigation. That's always a bummer when that happens. want to be sure that you guys hear everything very clearly. Whoa, look at this one. What? I can't even make out what this... <gasps> I found it! I found it! Oh, wow. 1778! All right, guys, this is the one that we were told about, the uh, 1778, and it looks like it's just initial, so I couldn't tell you the person's name. All right, guys, so we are continuing on with our investigation. We might go back to that area in a little bit and do a necrophonic session. I'm trying to find some other... Patty said there are several 1700 graves, so I'm trying to see if I can find at least one or two more. Hard to read some of these though. Really worn. Oh, well, it's getting close. It's uh, is that 1917 or 1817? I can't even make that out. Wow. Here's one over here. Yeah, like I said, the the um, lettering is worn off of this one as well. I mean, you know, these ones are pretty old because it's just simply a big hunk of rock. And that's how those other ones were as well. These look pretty old too. I wish they had a date on them though. 
Then we would be sure. I imagine these probably are either very early 1800s or possibly 1700s. This is a huge cemetery. This is interesting. This one was actually at some point it was broken and they were able to repair it not completely there's still a big crack in it but they did put some reinforcements on it so that's pretty great this one looks like another 1700s possibly early 1800s There's Patty over there by the 1700s grave. I think I might set up here because I, I think this gravel is really cool. I've never really seen, I might've seen it maybe once or twice, but I still find it pretty fascinating. So let's go ahead and set up the camera here. Okay, so already I <laughs> had a couple of weird experiences since turning on the spirit box. Um, I'm using the Necrophonic right now guys and I turned on before I even turned it on it started talking to me Which has happened before it's not the first time for it happening Then I, I Believe I actually had caught some of that or I thought I did and I looked at my camera and it turned itself off So I don't know if I caught any of that But that was pretty crazy. So We have The Necrophonic on who wants to talk to us today? Can you say your name for me again? Somebody just came through and said their first and last name, guys. Sure. Brittany? Did you say your name is Brittany? Bert. Bert. Oh my gosh. That is crazy because there is a famous place, a historic building right down the street. We actually just went to the parking lot of it. It's called the Burt Stark Mansion. And it just said Burt. So that's pretty crazy. Is this Burt Stark? Burt Stark, is that you? <gasps> Stark, it said Stark. <laughs> What can you tell us about yourself? Dead. Dead. Yeah, I know that. What else can you tell me? <laughs> what can you tell me about your mansion? <laughs> Would you like us to come visit and investigate your mansion? Is that why you came through today? Betty? Who's Betty? Stop. 
Lay, are you here? What would you like to say to us? Hello. Hello, how are you? I heard Abby. This is Abbeville that we're in currently, so that's interesting. Betty, I heard Betty again. That's weird. Who's Betty? Can you tell us any more about Betty? Wife. What's your name? I'll have to listen back and, and see what that said. Well, this is a beautiful cemetery. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, Patty is here. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> yes, Athena is here. <laughs> Do you have any other messages that you want to share with us today? <laughs> what would you like to say? <laughs> What did you do? What was your profession? This crow has been here talking to us since we got here. It's pretty wild. I know you guys can probably hear it in the background. So I'm curious, is the crow actually one of you as a spirit? It is. Oh. What's your name? It's me. It's turning out to be a beautiful day. It was raining earlier. Hey, Tommy, is that you? I'm going to turn the camera around the other way, guys, so you can see what I'm seeing. That way. Get a nice view of the cemetery as well. And I will make sure that the speaker is close to you. So that you can hear what's coming through. So do you have any other messages for us before I turn off the necrophonic? What would you like to say? Kids. Eleven. Did you have 11 kids? 
Where are they buried? Are they buried right here where I am? Wall. Yep, yeah, there is a wall here. Let me show you guys. I'm wondering if this is what they're talking about. They're saying a wall and they're saying 11 kids. Were your, your kids were children when they passed or they passed later in life? Three. Three of them were kids when they passed? How old were you when you passed? Can you, can you give me a year when you passed? <gasps> 1850s. I am going to get up and look right now and see if I see a s Can you tell me your first name? No. I don't see him. Is he here? I'm not sure. Someone said, do, do you see him? I can see him if he walks right in front of my camera. Can, can you do that? Can you walk right in front of my camera for me, please? All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the necrophonic for the moment. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. All right, so let's walk over here, guys, and see just for, you know, kicks and giggles if there is actually... A headstone that says 1850s because if there is we have confirmation that we actually spoke to someone who's buried here and I will tell you right now I have not been in here to this section yet so okay so that person died in 1886 so let's keep going 1880 okay Eighteen forty? No, that was when they were born. Okay, nineteen twelve. Um, okay. Let's see, eighteen nineteen. All right. Let's go around the other side. Eighteen eighties. Ah, eighteen eighties. Eighteen seventy. Now, I will say this too just because somebody came through doesn't necessarily mean that they are buried right here. They can be in any of the cemetery. I'm going to just look real quick here. Only because that's where I said I was actually going to film. So let me just see if there's anybody here from the 1850s. Those are newer there. 
Whoa. I don't know, guys. That is weird. I didn't look here. I mean... Eighteen forty-eight. I mean, I'm getting warmer. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Eighteen nineteen. Eighteen. 48 seems to be a popular year um 18 yeah, i can't tell it looks like 1870 i don't know maybe as i'm walking out i'll see it i don't know guys let me check this one here i don't know why something's making me come over here can't see it. I don't know. They're so worn. It's so hard to see. Guys, my day has just been made. I found two Woodsmen of the World graves. Check it out. They're both the stacked logs. This one's actually laying down. It's pretty freaking awesome. Day made. Okay, guys, that was pretty incredible. We got a lot of really intelligent EVPs. And I'm going to actually look up Burt Stark and find out the year he died and how many children he had because it said died in the 1850s and 11 children and he said three of them died at a younger age so I don't know because he came through in the beginning so that was pretty amazing I don't know much about him so I'm gonna research it and if in fact I believe it's him I'll let you guys know what I find out so we hope you had as much fun as we did on this investigation and we'll see you on our next raptor adventure